Now, when it comes to the politics of the Mount Kenya region, we can all say Mother Karua outdid herself. She went out of her way abusing the former, pri the, the, former the then uh, uh, Deputy President William Ruto, formulating even new slag names for Ruto, calling him Deputy Jesus, so as to please the crowd to vote for Raila Odinga, which never happened, you know. But when it came to the time for demonstrations, Raila Odinga, uh, Mother Karua, took the first bullets. She was on the front line of the battle to represent the Mount Kenya people in the fight for recognition in Ruto's government. Now, one thing has stood out. It seems that Raila Odinga is benching Mother Karua in this bipartisan dialogue, which has left a lot of conversations going on on social media because no leader from Mount Kenya region, those we believed, will be representing the Mount Kenya people in the bipartisan dialogue are there. All that are there, the Kambas are represented, the Luos are represented, the, 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 the Luyas are represented, but no Kikuyu, no Meru, no Embu, they are left out, which bags up the question, is Raila Odinga cutting out Mother Karua at the last minute because he has seen that there is a possibility of him having something from the current government. Now, allow me, this is FM update show and this is the political dialogue. Mother Karua, the lead of the NAC Kenya party, met with a group of the Mount Kenya leaders today who are upset over being excluded from the bipartisan negotiations. Jeremia Kioni, Peter Monya, former governor of Laikipia, Deritu Moribi, and others met today to plot a course of action following the open contempt shown by Azimio leader Raila Odinga Discrew. The Azimio leaders formed a bipartisan team, but Karua... And the other Mount Kenya leaders were left out. Raila has made it clear that he does not want to do business with the leaders of the Mount Kenya region, which is why none of them are participating in the bipartisan negotiations. And now they called out a meeting. Mm. Uh, and Karua described the meeting as a consultative meeting between the leaders from the region. Uh, now, this one is a clear indication that Raila Odinga is playing a very messy card with the Mount Kenya people. He will never have anything if it comes to his... You know, Raila has been known of betraying people that have given out their lives for him. Even the current president, William Ruto, went to ICC. Many did many things for Raila Odinga. Raila Odinga, somebody like me, being now in the media, let me say I have been a support of this man for so long and I've seen him make people that supported him suffer once he had power. Given the current political situation, Karua and his colleagues from the Mount Kenya region were rallying just a few days ago as a Zimio party leader, Raila Odinga, accepted the dialogue that they made with President William Ruto. Now, that would, that would, you would think about the Azimio team. What would you think about the Azimio team, party leader Raila Odinga, uh, going silence after he held the meeting with President William Ruto because they held a meeting with President William Ruto in the presence of the Nigerian former president Ole, Ole Seguno Basajo. Uh, and after the meeting, now he's cutting out people from the Mount Kenya region from his inner circle. Doesn't add up. Portrays the real characters of a man who is always out there to look out for himself but not for the people and not for the country for now go ahead and subscribe see you in the next one this is fm african documentary uh, the fm update show i'm a name